KB commanded Parthenax to die. But Parthenax just sat there insulting KB's Doverhood. Eventually she gave up and shouted fire. Why do you pray? Are you Dover keen? Ah, uh, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Well, fire indeed. KB has come to you to learn the secrets of Dragon Red. Yeah, she... Excuse KB, she was talking to you. Okay, fine, we'll go and carry this conversation over here. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw. It was easy. Mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Tell KB how to kill you and all your friends. Yes. You smell and KB hates you. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No. 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 You seek your weapon against Alduin. Soon. So will you tell KB how to kill your people, or does KB have to throw a fireball at a bitch? Yes, she'll do it. Croesus, sorrowfully, no. It cannot be known to me. You betray KB! Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Yes, the dragons. Our Hadrime. Our minds, Your minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. And you're a stupid, useless, bad dragon. How does KB even learn it now? Yes. Drem, all in good time. Drem. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Apparently, Alduin is very unpopular, and KB is the assassin, so she figures she will kill Alduin and someone will pay her, probably. Yes. Ruza, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Well, those who don't agree are wrong. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. So too with Alduin. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Yes, KB would kill the world in its womb. Sit this be praised. Besides, KB is living in this one. Paz. A fair answer. I'll sit this. Rofus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Hotini. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. And those who eat ice cream too fast get the headache. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Good, yes. Croesus. Now I will answer your question. Teach KB the dragon red. Mm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monavin? What you name throat of the world? This is not answering a question. This is this is asking a rhetorical question. Yes, you are bad, terrible dragon. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. He's a big rock, yes. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. So was he pathetic back then as well, yes? All KB needs to do is make him sit still for a minute. Yes and no, Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Obviously, Captain Dragon Obvious. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout 
to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. Ok Mulag. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. What did they do that for? Just bring him to the ground, stand far away, and throw fireballs until his head melts. Yes. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever. Forever lost. Maye. How did this become so hard? I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. And he always just flies away. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Dragon, all you do is chat like a gabby throaty schoolgirl. Tell KB how this helps her kill your friend. Yes. Teed Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. Okay. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound. Yes? With the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to... Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. Okay. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Okay. And maybe kill Alduin back then? Yes? Kebby has the Elder Scroll. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech. Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. Yeah, KB just found this thing. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at your disposal. Soon. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the Time Wound. KB is here, yes. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Oh, well, thank goodness we we delayed for so long then. This stupid lengthy conversation about mostly nothing. Maybe didn't learn anything from Parthenax. The answer was in her pants pocket this whole time. Yes. It was then that KB remembered the Elder Scrolls are known to cause blindness. As KB's visions cleared, she found herself watching what could best be described as something similar to a high school play. Yes. KB had a terrible sense of vertigo. Yes. And every time someone spoke, it sounded stilted and awkward. The pacing felt awful. There were wide, enormous gaps between dialogue. KB felt it must have had something to do with the time travel. There was a battle with the dragon, but it was really boring to watch, and KB soon looked around. There were some other dead dragons lying around, and then a lady jumped on the dragon's head. She was the worst actor KB had ever seen. KB kept expecting her to say, Poor Susie, I verily, yes. It reminded KB of a festival where everyone dressed up and pretended to be kings and nobles and things and talked as though they thought nobles talked. Yes. It was kind of embarrassing listening to her. KB felt sympathetically embarrassed towards this woman. Yes. Did she have some sort of speech impediment? Who talked like that? Did she hit her head, maybe? KB had no idea. Dragons circled the sky menacingly, and these three idiots stood around talking to each other like nothing was going on. Just sharing their opinions, puffing up the dragon wren shout. Oh, they didn't have the dragon wren when they fought before, yes, but we do. We're pretty good with this dragon wren thing. Yes. The old man pulled out an elder scroll and said, Behold, this is this thing. And the young man says, We agreed not to use that. And the old man says, We didn't have a conversation like that, not that this old man remembers. Yes. We are going to use this scroll, maybe. Kimmy wasn't sure if they were in the middle of a battle, or preparing to go to the battle, or if the dragons were doing an air show. Were just these three the only ones fighting, or was there an army down below? What was the strategic relevance of this place? This dragon here was apparently Alduin. 
They shouted at him and Cabby learned Dragon Red. As simple as that. She wished she could have fast forwarded to this point. Cabby learned that Dragon Red did not actually red the dragon. It was more like Dragon Set. It forced Alduin to set. Yes. Cabby had sort of hoped that the shout would shred his internal organs, causing him to lay down and bleed out internally while Cabby could roast his brain. But just sitting there was also good. Yes. Same deal, he would be harmless. The final battle with Alduin was almost the same as the battle with the first dragon. Yes. It was just as boring and stupid, only the woman this time walked directly into the dragon's mouth, and Alduin bit her to death. This supreme overcoming of their brilliant tactics convinced the old man that he had to resort to the Elder Scroll. So he pulled this thing out, cast his magic spell, and sent the ancient dragon forward in time to be KB's problem. Yes. It was so easy to see where they went wrong. First off, they needed armor enchanted to resist fire. Yes. Second, they would need a bow and arrow, a bit of poison and some enchantments on that arrow, and Alduin would be no more. You are banished! Worked. Did it. Yes, the World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Maybe hopes you can digest those, don't throw up during a fight, yes. And await your fate in Sovereign Guard. Lost Foot, you are too late, Alduin. Dovakin, use Dragon Rand if you know it. Yeah, KB learned it. See, it is more like a uh, suggestion for him to sit down, KB thinks. Because it doesn't work right away. Look at him, he just loops around. But he's all blue, though. He should be easy to spot. Yes. Okay, see, he got up again. KB probably is going to have to chain together a few shots at him. Okay, new plan, Parthenax. You just tackle him, yes, and then lay your body weight down so he can't fly away, and Kebby will walk up and burn holes into his eyeballs. Okay, you just missed, yes. Okay, Kebby will try the dragon rent thing again, and he will come sit down. Okay, fireballs, never mind. Seems Alduin is pretty resistant to that, yes. Um, instead, maybe when he lands, KB is just going to punch him in this note. Oh, okay, Parthenax, you missed again. Alright, this is... KB shouts, you tackle. Okay, come tackle. Come tackle. Come tackle him. Parthenax. Please move, You have become strong. You no. But I am Alduin, firstborn of Akatosh, Malami Zoklat. Shut up. I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. Well, then you are going to get squat in this newt. Die. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. Maybe they don't care as long as you are unhappy. Take this. You don't How do you feel? Sad? Yes? Hey, don't you just fly away from KB? You bad dragon, you come back down here and get punched in this note. But an he flew away. You didn't tell KB that he was actually immortal and immune to snoot punches as well as fireballs. Dragon Ren didn't fix that. That's all KB had in her arsenal, she hopes you know. Just a fireball and the snoot punch. She is done. She's not even sure she cares enough to go find him again, yes. Okay, do you want to come down and talk to KB, or do you just want to fly in circles? Thank you. Where are you going? Lot Kongrach. You truly have the voice of a... Okay. It had been kind of a strange afternoon. Yes.